let us continue with the problems in the previous video we have seen problems on the interval minus pi to pi and 0 to 2 pi now let us see the next problem obtain the Fourier series for the function f of x equals mod x in the interval minus l to l and show that pi square by 8 equals 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus etc. Now observe the given interval, the interval is between minus L to L. So we should use the Fourier series expansion of the arbitrary period to L because the arbitrary period to L is splitted into minus L to L and 0 to 2 L. So I am using the corresponding Fourier series expansion that is f of x equals a0 by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. Call it as equation number 1. Since the function given is mod x, mod x means it consists of both positive and negative value, positive and negative values. So I have splitted mod x as minus x in the interval minus l to 0 and plus x in the interval 0 to l. Now we should verify the nature of this function f of x equals to mod x. Since we have two functions, I have taken the first function to be equal to phi of x that is minus x and second function is psi of x which is equal to x. Now to verify the nature, since the interval is between minus l to plus l, we should replace x by minus x in the first function. So what happens if I replace x by minus x in the first function? Phi of minus x is equal to minus of minus x which is equal to plus x. And we know that plus x is nothing but our second function psi of x. So phi of minus x is equal to psi of x. We can say that the function f of x is an even function. If the function is even, we can directly write bn to be equal to 0. Now we should calculate a0 and an. a0 is calculated using the formula 2 by l integral between 0 to l f of x dx. Now let me substitute the value of f of x 2 by l integral between 0 to l f of x here we should consider the value of f of x between the interval 0 to l. It is x. So I will write it as x into dx. Now let me integrate this which is equal to 2 by l. Integration of x is x square by 2 between the limit 0 to l. 2 to n gets cancelled. Let me substitute the limit. l square by l is the upper limit minus lower limit is 0. One of the L term gets cancelled. So A0 value is L. But I want A0 by 2. So divide by 2 on both the sides. A0 by 2 is L by 2. Now to calculate An, we have an expression. It is 2 by L integral between 0 to L f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx. Now let me substitute f of x again 2 by l integral between 0 to l f of x between the interval 0 to l is x. x into cos n pi x by l into dx. Now we have product of two terms we should apply Bernoulli's rule of integration. So here the first function is taken as u and second function as v. Let me apply the Bernoulli's rule of integration. It is 2 by L into first function should be written as it is x into integration of cos n pi x by L is sin n pi x by L divided by constant term is n pi by L minus Again integration of this integrated function, integration of sin is we know that it is minus cos n pi x by L divided by 
n square pi square by l square into differentiation of first function x is 1 between the limit 0 to l. Now, let us substitute the limits. What happens if I substitute the limits here in place of x? If I substitute x as l, l l gets cancelled and sin n pi value is 0. And also if I substitute the lower limit sin 0 is 0. So, sin n pi and sin 0 both are 0. So, this whole term will be 0. Now, we should substitute the limits only for cos term. Here minus into minus will be plus 2 by L into this denominator of the denominator always goes to the numerator. It will be L square by N square pi square into minus into minus is plus. When I substitute the upper limit here L, L, L gets cancelled. I will get cos n pi minus my lower limit is cos 0, cos 0. Here one of the L term gets cancelled 2 divided by n square pi square into we know that cos n pi value is minus 1 to the power n minus cos 0 is 1. This is the value of my a n 2 l divided by n square pi square into minus 1 to the power n minus 1. I should substitute this value in equation 1. So, my equation 1 will become f of x equals a naught by 2 we have seen it is l by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n is 2 l divided by n square pi square into minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into cos n pi x by l. Let me call this as equation 2. This is a obtained Fourier series expansion for the given function in the interval minus l to l. Now, we should deduce the deduction part from the obtained Fourier series expansion. So, for that I told you in the previous videos also whenever we have cos term to, for the deduction purpose usually we will substitute x as 0 and this value should lie in the given interval. It lies in the given interval minus l to l. So, I can substitute x as 0. Wherever x is there I will substitute it as 0. So, f of 0 equals l by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2l divided by n square pi square into minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into cos 0 value is 1. Now, we should calculate what is this f of 0. We have the function f of x as mod x. If I want f of 0, it is mod 0 which is nothing but 0 itself. So, I will put f of 0 as 0 equals L by 2 plus 2L divided by pi square into summation n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n minus 1 divided by n square. Now, on simplification, I will shift this L by 2 to LHS, it will be minus L by 2 equals 2L divided by pi square. I will expand this summation part when n is equals to 1 minus 1 power 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 divided by 1 square. When n is 2 minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 1 minus 1 is 0. When n is 3 again I will get minus 2 by 3 square etc. Now minus 2 minus 2 is a common term. I will take out minus 2 as a common term and this L, L can be cancelled and I will cross multiply the terms. Minus pi square by 2 equals, if I take out minus 2 as common term, 2 into minus 2 into 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus etc. This minus sign and minus sign gets cancelled. I will cross multiply the terms. So, pi squared divided by 2, 2's are 4, 4, 2's are 8, 8 equals pi squared by 8 equals 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square etc. This is the required deduction part. The next problem is obtain the Fourier series expansion for the function f of x equals 
1 plus 4x by 3 in the interval minus 3 by 2 to 0 and 1 minus 4x by 3 in the interval 0 to 3 by 2 and hence deduce that pi square by 8 equals 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus etc. Again we have a splitted function observe the given interval it is between minus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2 means it should be compared with minus l to plus l. So, on comparing with minus l to plus l our l value is 3 by 2 l value is 3 by 2. So, we will write down the corresponding Fourier series expansion of the arbitrary period 2l that is a0 by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. Let us call it as equation 1. Since we have splitted functions, we will take the first function as phi of x 1 plus 4 x by 3 and second function as psi of x that is 1 minus 4 x by 3. Now to verify the nature of this function and the interval is between minus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2 that is similar to minus l to plus l we should replace x by minus x in the first function. So, I will replace x by minus x in the first function phi of minus x equals 1 minus 4 x by 3. We can see that 1 minus 4 x by 3 is nothing but our second function psi of x. So, phi of minus x is equal to plus psi of x which concludes that the given function f of x is an even function. Therefore, b n term is equal to 0. We should calculate a naught and a n. Let us calculate a naught and a n. So, a naught is given by the formula 2 by l integral between 0 to l f of x into dx. We have seen that l value is 3 by 2. Let me substitute it 2 by 3 by 2 integral between 0 to 3 by 2. What is our function f of x in the interval 0 to 3 by 2? It is 1 minus 4 x by 3. 1 minus 4 x by 3 into dx. This denominator of the denominator goes to the numerator. It will be 4 by 3 into integration of 1 is x minus 4 by 3 into integration of x is x square by 2 between the limit 0 to 3 by 2. Now, let me substitute the limit a naught is equals to 4 by 3 into for x if I substitute the limit 3 by 2 minus 0 minus 4 by 3 into here 2 is there 2 into x square that is 3 by 2 the whole square that is 9 by 4. This 4 and 4 gets cancelled 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 we have 4 by 3 into 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 which is equal to 0. I got a naught value as 0. Now let me calculate the value of a n. a n is given by 2 by l integral between 0 to l f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx. Now let us substitute f of x and l value 2 by l is 3 by 2 integral between 0 to 3 by 2 f of x in the interval 0 to 3 by 2 is 1 minus 4 x by 3 into cos n pi x by l is 3 by 2 into dx. Now we have product of two terms let us integrate by applying Bernoulli's rule of integration. So this is the first function and this is the second function. So, a n value will be equal to 4 by 3 into first function keep it as it is 1 minus 4 x by 3 into integration of cos is sin of n pi x divided by 3 by 2 divided by the constant term is n pi by 3 by 2 minus again integration of sin term is minus cos of n pi x by 3 by 2 divided by n square pi square divided by 3 by 2 the whole square. 
this is between the limit 0 to 3 by 2. Now into differentiation of 1 minus 4x by 3 is minus 4 by 3. Now let me substitute the limit. If I substitute the limit here n pi into 3 by 2 this 3 by 2 3 by 2 gets cancelled n pi sin n pi value is 0 and lower limit sin 0 is also 0. So this whole term will be 0. Now I should substitute the limit only for the second term. Here minus into minus into minus is minus 4 by 3. Here one more 4 by 3 is there and this denominator of the denominator goes to the numerator. It is 3 by 2 the whole square that is 9 by 4 into 1 by n square pi square this term. I will keep it as it is. Now I will substitute the upper limit for this term. If I substitute 3 by 2 here, 3 by 2, 3 by 2 gets cancelled, I will be left out with just cos n pi minus lower limit is cos 0. Now 3 3s are 9 and one of the 4 term gets cancelled. My a n value is minus 4 by n square pi square into we know that cos n pi is minus 1 to the power n minus cos 0 is 1. This is the value of a n. Now let me substitute a n in equation 1. So what does equation 1 becomes f of x equals since a naught is 0, 0 plus a n is summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n is minus 4 by n square pi square into minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into cos n pi x by L is 3 by 2. Let me call it as equation 2. Now to deduce the required result as I said in the previous problem whenever we have cos term usually we will substitute x as 0. If I put x as 0 this whole term will be cos 0 that is equal to 1 and my f of 0 my function f of 0 will be we have since we have two functions here 1 plus 4 x by 3 and 1 minus 4 x by 3 in both the functions 0 lies. So we can substitute in any one of the function and we can find out f of 0. So f of 0 will be 1 plus 0 or 1 minus 0 it is equal to 1. Now f of x is equal to 1 which is equal to minus 4 by pi square summation n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n minus 1 divided by n square. Let us expand this summation minus 4 by pi square into when n is 1 minus 1 to the power 1 minus 1 is minus 2 divided by 1 square. When n is 2 it is 0 when n is 3 minus 2 by 3 square etc. Now I will take out minus 2 as common term and I will cross multiply the terms minus pi square by 4 equals minus 2 into 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus etc. So on cross multiplication of this term and cancellation of this negative sign on both the sides I will get pi square by 8 equals 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square etc. This is the required deduction part. We will continue the problems in the next video.